What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another review. This time, we're looking at a brand new keyboard that I just got in from the company Jellycomb. Let's check it out. So just got a brand new keyboard in from the company Jellycomb. I'm gonna be sure I link them below so you can check it out for yourself. Um, but this keyboard is a multi-device keyboard. Now it has a dual channel, it connects two devices. It has Bluetooth 3.0 technology now. So we know most of the devices that we work with uh, usually have about at least 4.1 or 5.0. I think this is all that's in the box. So. This is what you get in the box. I'm going to go ahead and take all this out. So in the box, we actually get a film to go over the keys. We get the actual keyboard itself. Let's get this open. Get some instructions. Get some little jelly combs. Yep, some little stickers, jelly comb. And you get a charging cable, a micro USB charging cable. Now, let's do our real estate right here on this keyboard, full QWERTY keyboard, nice circular keys. So you're not gonna have any issues with your finger dropping down in there. Naturally, it's gonna stay. You get an area right here so you can put your tablet in there so it'll hold and stand up. You get your Bluetooth buttons up here, shortcuts across the top. It's a full keyboard, guys. Um, nothing to open up back here. You get nice rubber feet because you have a lithium ion battery built into this. You got your charging port over here and nothing on this side. On off switch is up top. So we're not gonna overlay that. We're just gonna leave it like it is. I'm gonna put my little jellies to the side right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected to the iPad. So I'm gonna bring the iPad in some so we can see what's going on. Or better yet, since we actually know that this will hold our iPad, Let's put the iPad there. Now you don't get a good angle. I guess if you're sitting right up on it, since I'm recording, I'm sitting back from it. So it's a little bit of strain when I'm trying to hunch over to look at that. Let's get it connected first. I'm gonna hold this up so we can see it. I'm gonna open up Bluetooth. And this is our first time connecting this. So I gotta turn it on, on off switch right there. It is on and I'm gonna hold down the number one. Keyboard shows up down here, Bluetooth keyboard. Tap that and we should be connected. So let's make sure that we are connected. What I'm gonna do is our home is right here under the function. So you gotta hold the function and hit the little home and boom, takes us back home. Volume up, volume is going up, volume down, volume is going down. Um, brightness of the screen, turn that up, turn that down, turn that up. Apple actual Apple shortcuts. Let's see, there we go. They pop up on the screen. Apple shortcuts are working. No issues with this. Let's do some typing. I'm gonna do all this. And do a little bit of typing just to make sure keys are nice and responsive. So keys seem to be nice and responsive. You know I'm not a typer, but keys are nice and responsive, nice and clicky. You know that you pressed it and it pops back up whenever you hit it. So you're gonna get a six month usage out of this uh, battery when it's full charged. Uh, it has a low latency, so it will, it will go to sleep when you are not using it. Uh, but you get that orientation and you can also stand your tablet up in this orientation, or you can put your tablet and a phone, whatever you wanna put, whatever kind of combination you wanna use, you have free reign over all that. So I'm gonna make sure I drop a link below to this. This is the Jellycomb multi-device keyboard. You're gonna be able to pick one of these up for about 20 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal considering some of the other ones that are multi-device and they actually hold your device up. I think it's a really good deal. Um, I'll be doing a couple of comparisons between some of these that I have, but for now, that's been it. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. I'll drop that link below, like I said, see my recommendations. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.